We're here with J.D. Alexander, past president of the National Cattlemen's Beef Association and current vice chair of NCBA's Political Action Committee. J.D., thanks for uh, giving us a few minutes today. Well, great to be here and good seeing you again, Kevin. Tell folks just a little bit about what the NCBA PAC is. You know, we're very proud of the NCBA PAC. As, as you well know, in today's industry, uh, political action committees are very important to have as, as they play a big role in our uh, elections that will be coming up uh, not only next year, which is a very big one, but uh, years to come. So it's very important that we have an active role in Washington, D.C. in helping to determine the right candidates that get elected to make the decisions on our behalf. I want to follow up in just a minute about the next election cycle, but but before I do, tell folks a little bit about some of the wins that the NCB PAC has achieved over time. You know, we've, we've got uh, goals we shoot for, and, and luckily we reached a lot of our goals as far as collecting the money that we have to distribute and, and put out to the various candidates. So we're very proud of that. We're reaching our goals, but we need to reach even further. Uh, the good thing in the success rate we've got is that we've been able to select candidates, and we have a very high success ratio of who we give some money to that actually get elected. And, of course, we're looking at those candidates very carefully to make sure that we're going to contribute to somebody that really has the best benefit of our industry in mind. Yeah. And um, take, for instance, uh, somebody, one of your neighbors back in Pilgrim, Nebraska. I mean, uh, what benefits do folks out in the country see from NCBA's PAC? You can look at your own industry and, and see that uh, how much influence government officials, uh, congressmen, legislators, senators, and so on have because they're making the laws of what we have to operate our, our operations. And uh, so we've got to be very cognizant that we don't get too overburdensome in these laws and regulations that we can't operate. So it's very critical of our staff in Washington, D.C. to make a determination of individual candidates uh, to make the correct decisions on our behalf. So my neighbor down the road, uh, you don't think it would happen, but a lot of the decisions that come out of Washington, D.C. and other legislative areas uh, have a direct effect on their success or possible failure. Absolutely. You mentioned the 2016 election. It's going to be a critical one, again, with presidential elections as well. Um, what are some of your goals for 2016? Well, first off, you know, we've got goals of, of funds that we want to meet, and so we have adequate funding that we can give to some of the candidates. Uh, you know, we're going to carefully evaluate the ones. We're going to look at the ones that uh, that literally are going to see eye to eye to our, our positions and the betterment of our industry. You know, we actually interview the candidates to make sure that uh, they're viable and looking out for our cattle industry. It doesn't matter what segment of the industry is. Uh, we need to have somebody that's looking out for agriculture and in particular livestock production. So our goals are to are hopefully get a higher percentage of our members to give to PAC uh, and make a serious evaluation of who we will be getting the money to uh, to hopefully put and help get the right people into the positions. And so what would you tell our viewers back home about how they can get involved? You know, the primary way is, of course, uh, be involved in, in the association. You know, your association is out there to, to look out on your behalf every day uh, of the year, every, every day when you're out there working and can't be over there lobbying your legislature. The other is, is, is we do need to ask you to give. Uh, this is a critical election cycle. Uh, we need to have the dollars to, to give to the right candidates to make sure in the long run that, that you're looking out or they're looking out for our industry. I used to have a saying that I used a lot was, if you're not at the table, you're on the menu. And I've kind of learned a new one now that uh, if you're not a part of the political action committee, you're going to be on the menu again. So uh, we want to make sure that you're giving. Great words to live by, J.D. Thank you for your continued service to our organization. And we'll be back with more NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen right after this.